Today is kind of a sad day for me because today's the day that I'm going to be shipping back my pronk backpack kit back to the pronk guys because my tenure at my existing medical facility is coming to an end. There's going to be some changes coming up pretty soon. So in light of this, I like to tie up loose ends and one of the loose ends that I currently have is the pronk backpack because there's so many things I want to tell you guys about it and I have so little time. So today I'm going to open up the backpack. I'm going to show you everything that came inside it because there is a lot of stuff inside that backpack. And then we're going to go into the Mobilize app, which is a Bluetooth enabled app, which can control the analyzers and they can automate a lot of your testing functions. That's coming up next right here on Better Biomed. guys here is the infamous prompt backpack I have an iPad here which is what the mobilize app runs on I'm gonna set that off to the side because we are gonna use that in just a moment but let's go over what comes in the backpack because there are pockets and stuff everywhere I'm gonna lay it all out for you guys right here on the tabletop because there is so much stuff and you guys have probably heard me say it before biomeds have a tendency of losing things so I'm going to show you what should be in the backpack, or at least what I have. And maybe if you have the backpack, you can examine your own stock and see exactly what's in there. So let's get to it, guys. Let's go ahead and open up the main compartment because this is the bad boy himself. This is the safety sim. It's an electrical safety analyzer plus a simulator. It does a lot of different things. The safety sim is a good little piece of kit, man. But this thing is also the brains behind the automated functionality of Mobilize app. So I'm gonna leave him right here, front and center. We are gonna use him in just a moment and I'm gonna demonstrate what it can do, or at least part of what it can do. There are a whole bunch of accessories. We have accessories like this jig right here. This is also gonna do point to point. So you connect one lead to the one spot. Yeah, I might as well just go ahead and set it up for you. Eh? All right. So I'm going to connect the one lead to where test lead goes. If you're doing point to point, which some things might require that, then you would connect this guy right here. I'm just going to lay it off to the side. So I have this guy. Let's go ahead and put the backpack over here on a stool so I can open it up and lay everything out because I'm going to run out of real estate here. So I have some pressure leads. Believe it or not, I got plenty of these pressure leads. So you're going to see, I'm going to start laying them all out for you guys. Uh, the quick start kit, um, safety notices. I have manuals. You know, I keep all that stuff down in the base of the backpack. I have my non-invasive blood pressure sleeve and I keep a cuff naturally inside the sleeve. So let's go ahead and put him right there. I have the SIM cube. All right, so the SIM cube has got a battery source, which I'm gonna lay right there. It also has an AC adapter for him. Oh, the Oxim. I love this little guy. Such a neat little piece of kit. Oxim, I'm gonna put him right there. I have a quarter 20 lug, which means that this one here is for mounting. We'll get into that in just a moment. That's a cool little thing right there. If you guys have this next device, you're gonna want that. The flow tracks. Flow tracks is easily one of my favorite things in this kit. It can do so much stuff, and there's so many components to the flow track system that I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm just gonna start laying them out for y'all. Mind you, this is all kept in this backpack. Uh, let's see, I got some more pressure leads, some more pressure adapters, more pressure adapters. 
flush bottle, clean brush, my quick start card again. Oh boy, guys. I got so much stuff. Um, my drainage tube for this guy. I have my nozzle for doing pressures. And I have a series of USB cords. All my certifications are kept in the backpack. I have another little AC adapter. And this guy is going to be for him, for the flow tracks. I have some extra screens or filters for the flow tracks. So that is in there. Oh my gosh. I have a uh, USB stick, which you can use for programming and doing some bunch of special stuff. I got a USB stick that I keep in there. There's so many pouches on this guy. Extra batteries. I'm not going to pull them out for you guys, but I do have extra AA batteries in one pouch. Always good to keep extra batteries. I have another pressure cable and another one. Mind you, there's all these different variety of pressure cables because there's a variety of different equipment that you're going to interact with. <laughs> and yes, oh, the Sim Slim. Love this little guy. Between these two little guys over here, um, some of my favorite. Just because of their size and all their feature set. Oh, I'm not done, guys. You think I'm done? I am not done. I have a whole host of different non-invasive blood pressure cables and adapters. Let's see. I know I've got more, don't I? Oh, yes. And I've got more non-invasive blood pressure test adapters. I think this is a hidden pouch. Oh my gosh, I gotta show this one. Okay guys, so I normally wouldn't have looked in here, but on the side pouch of the backpack, there is a Velcro pouch, and if it's sealed up really good, you wouldn't even think anything of it, but I started feeling it, and I could feel that there's a cable in there. So uh, this is obviously for temperature. Uh, it's got the phono to the 3.5 millimeter. And I think, I think that is finally everything. Now there is a side pouch right here, and that is where the tablet goes, but that's also a really good spot for your calibration paperwork and stuff. But the tablet normally just slides right there on the side. And that, guys, is the entire content of the, the backpack. Now there is one more thing that's in the backpack. This here, I believe, is a, uh, a shroud that goes over the backpack. It's like a rain guard. So guys, um, this is the adapter I was telling you about. Uh, you can see how the adapters can screw in the back of the flow tracks. And if I remember right, we can also put an adapter like this on, yes, on the electrical safety analyzer. So if you're set up at a workbench and you don't want to deal with your test equipment flopping all around, by all means, you can put a clamp on it and you can hold it on your workbench. Again, it's the flexibility and the ease of use. I love that it's a quarter 20 because there's all sorts of different mounts that you can get for that. So anyway guys, this is uh, the entire contents of the backpack. You can see all the different um, pressure adapters that you're going to be using. Um, I think there's some cardiac output adapters in there. Uh, you've got a what extension cable another extender cable the temperature cable I don't know guys what do you think does that look like enough stuff in a backpack quite a bit and I gotta figure out a way to pack that all back in the backpack but anyway uh, I'm going to leave out the essentials because what we are gonna do is I'm gonna give you a quick rundown using uh, the safety sim and uh, maybe your pulse oximetry and some other stuff. We'll, we'll see. Uh, I'm not going to use the flow tracks in this demonstration. We're going to open up the Mobilize app and I'm going to have all this stuff hooked up to a defibrillator, which normally you can use the Mobilize with defibrillator analyzer, but you're going to need the um, an adapter, a Bluetooth adapter a special one that you can get from the guys at Pronk 
And you will also need uh, a Daytrend brand defibrillator analyzer because it interfaces with this seamlessly. I don't have that currently here and um, it's been kind of a hassle uh, working with my hospital trying to get all these loose ends tied up. I'm just going to show you guys the Mobilize app because it's so cool and before I ship this out I need to show you guys what this thing can do because this is one of those things that is a game changer for your PM program. All right? So give me a moment to clean all this off and I'll show you guys the Mobilize app. All right, and one of the things I need to show you guys, I currently have everything kind of set up. I've got a defibrillator set to monitor that it should give me, you know, a pretty good indicator of what's going on. I've got the SpO2 simulator here. I've got the uh, non-invasive blood pressure monitor. Although I'm not running uh, NIBP right now, I do have the ECG. There is redundancy built into these products, but I figured to show you how many devices we can daisy chain to the Mobilize app, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, hook the ECG up to this guy. I could have done it through the safety sim, no problem. But uh, this guy's running off uh, battery power, this guy's running off battery power, that guy right there is plugged in. Now, I'm gonna do an electrical safety, I'm gonna go ahead and run it through some functions with the ECG, and I'm also gonna run it through some SPO2 functionality. And we do all of that through this nifty little program right here called Mobilize. And when you run Mobilize, you see it immediately opens up to the screen where it tells you what type of devices do you want to select from. And up here is where you're going to enter your device under test. And you can type it in, that's no problem. Or there's an option, you can hit scan and you turn on the camera for the iPad. Yep, see, and you use the camera. Cancel. So let's go ahead and type in something. Okay, and I want to do a vital signs monitor, right? Notice that I also have oximeter, uh, ES only, electrical safety only, with ground, no ground, IV pump, defibrillator. Now the defibrillator is the one I mentioned earlier where you can hook it up to a day trend analyzer and it will control that as well. Very cool, I wish I could show you guys that, but. I'm gonna show you guys the vital signs monitor because you can set this up just like this on your test cart, wheel on up to um, any patient monitor, hook it up real quick, and then run an automated test sequence, which is what we're gonna do right now. So let's see, uh, one of the first things you wanna make sure that you do, because I have not set this up yet, is first we wanna recognize our components and make sure that they're paired. So I've got three devices right here, take a look. It can see three devices, but they're not currently paired. Pair, pair, pair. They do operate on Bluetooth spectrum, so they do have to be paired just like your headphones or whatever else. And now this guy is in control. So it's got all three of these. You got green dots right down there. If you don't have green dots, you might want to reboot the component and then attempt to pair, but we're good to go this we can also see the calibration dates of the devices kind of like that very cool um so you can see uh we have pm sticker and that's something i was going to show you guys a little bit later see this little guy right here this little brother printer that little printer right there will print your pm stickers in the field check this out it's battery powered so <laughs> i have a battery powered label printer i can print my own PM stickers, and you set that up here inside your settings. Anyway, uh, we're paired, so let's go back. Oh, very cool. So you can see down at the bottom, showing the status for all the devices that are currently attached for that selected test. I don't wanna run through a Zoll checklist. Let's do it by type. Not available, asset required. Okay, so I first I have to put in asset ID, 5555, five, five, five. done. Okay, and now I can type this guy. And there's a yellow that popped up over here. Very cool, okay. So it's already connected for an electrical safety. I did that as soon as I pulled up to this defib. I'm gonna hit start. Look at this. The safety sim is doing its thing. How cool is that? It's going to go through and uh, do a regular electrical safety. Oh, cool. It's telling me to zero my test lead. 
because pronk, you need to do that every 30 days. All right, so it says it's complete. I'm going to connect it back to the ground lug on the back. Continue. Okay. Well, that's interesting. So you can see it taking its measurements and they should pop over here as it runs through them. Okay, switch device power on. This one runs off battery all the time, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, it's telling me to turn it on. Let's continue. So you know how electrical safeties are. You run the first part of the test with the device off, then you turn it on and you finish out the rest of the test. Excellent. And it gives you a big old green pass. You're good. And over here, so I can uh, put in the result. Hmm. Okay. That's interesting. So the SPO2, we can simulate that. Look at this. It automatically set this guy for 95%. I did not touch it whatsoever. You can see the ECG at 180 beats right there. ECG 180, 95 on the SpO2. Respiration rate 40, although uh, this one here, I don't currently have it set up so I could uh, show the respiration. I'd need a full on uh, patient monitor. NIBP, if we had this guy really up and going, I would also be running NIBPs right now. I can't do that. Auto probe, very cool. Yep. Back. All right, so I can select the different SPO2s right here. Okay, and let's review. So here we go. It gives me a full on results of what I just did, and now I can share the PDF. Or, yep, so I can just share the text or I can share a uh, CSV, which is an Excel document. How cool would that be? Anyway, let's go back. All right, I did not see that. Invasive blood pressure, so now I can run through IVPs. But I'm not set up for that, unfortunately. More, oh, I can set custom parameters. Very cool. I love customizing. You seen, I just hit next preset and if you have like adults, pediatrics and stuff like that, you can flip through your presets based on what you're currently trying to test. So you can see right here, heart rate 60, SpO2 85. Check that out. It automatically switched it over on its own. Next preset, ooh, I should be getting some alarms on this guy. Look at heart rate 30, SpO2 75. Yeah, you're gonna start alarming on me. How easy is that though? I could pre-configure these guys over here, set up for pediatrics, set up for adult, set up for pediatrics alarm condition, adult alarm condition, and just run through them real quick with this next preset button. And uh, as soon as I get my alarms, pass, you know, and that's what we would do right here. Result, pass. So right here I can scroll through and tell you what I actually did get, 32, done. So 75, let's say I got 76 on it, done. Okay, next preset. All right, so I can actually do leak checks and stuff on the NIBP of a patient monitor. That's all set up through here and done. 
save these changes don't save oh and look at this guys this is one of the cool things I wanted to tell you about let's go ahead and turn this guy on okay we're green green for go check this out once it completed it it says pass there's a little thing that says PM sticker Boop. normally you can customize that I showed you the menu and settings to do that I click print. All right, well, obviously that would needs to be set up in here. Anyway, guys, I think you get the point. It's an automated system. It's awesome. It could still use a little bit of smoothing over some of the edges. I mean, no system is absolutely perfect, but I'll tell you what, this already does way more than I expected. And the PMs, I'm sorry, I, I couldn't get that to print. I know it's easier, I just haven't paired this and I haven't done it correctly. So, I'm just going to shut the printer off. The fact that it even has a portable printer is just absolutely amazing. Because I'm a, a huge supporter of people printing out PM stickers instead of ordering them online. But anyway guys, that is the Prunk Backpack and that is the Mobilize app. Just running it real quick, showing you that it can be utilized very quickly uh, right out the gate. To me, it seems like an absolute winner, especially if you're one of these uh, Road Warrior Biomeds and you're trying to standardize your PM process. It exports your results. You can attach them to a work order, email them to a client. Couldn't ask for more, right? Guys, this is a winning set. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you guys from Pronk for giving me this backpack. I've demoed it for the last couple months and it has been absolutely awesome. And I've, I have had so much positive response from my own coworkers because they've been borrowing components of it here and there because everybody loves the backpack, all right? So everyone, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope I can edit this to be a little bit smaller because this is gonna be a long video. Thanks for watching, guys.